Hugo, Oklahoma. Hugo is a city and county seat of Choctaw County, Oklahoma, United States. It is located in southeastern Oklahoma about north of the Texas state line. As of the 2010 census, the city population was 5,310. The city was founded in 1901 and named for the French novelist Victor Hugo. The city serves as winter quarters for some circus performers. It is adjacent to one of the oldest schools west of the Mississippi, Goodland Academy, begun in 1848. The town is located in a cultural area of the state known as Little Dixie, as it was settled by Native American tribes, African Americans and European Americans from the southeastern United States. It is near the tourist area of Kayamichi country. This was part of the Indian Territory to which the United States government relocated Native American tribes from east of the Mississippi River in the 1830s under its Indian removal policy. Among the nations relocated here were the Choctaw, for whom the county is named. They were one of what were called the five civilized tribes of the southeastern United States, as they had adopted numerous elements of European American culture. When they relocated, they brought with them the numerous African American slaves whom they held. As the Choctaw allied with the Confederate South during the American Civil War, the United States government insisted on a new peace treaty with them after its end. A condition was the Choctaw's emancipation of their slaves and granting to the freedmen of rights of full citizenship in the Choctaw Nation, as the U.S. was granting citizenship to former slaves of the South. The St. Louis San Francisco Railway, Frisco, built a line from Hope, Arkansas, to Ardmore, Oklahoma, in 1901. It crossed the north-south line Frisco had built in 1887 to connect Monet, Missouri, to Paris, Texas. The territorial town that sprung up at the crossing would soon be named Hugo. The town's name was recommended by the wife of local surveyor W. H. Darrow, a fan of Victor Hugo. In late 1993, the town suffered several violent incidents. Before Christmas, a shootout occurred in the Walmart parking lot. Within one week in December, two fires occurred. The first was at the Booker T. Washington Gymnasium on December 26. On December 28, a fire erupted in the central business district of Hugo, consuming five buildings and burning for four hours. The Belmont Hotel, which the Area Historical Society was renovating, was destroyed. Area authorities suspected that the fires were arson. In 1937, artist Joseph Fleck painted an oil on canvas mural, titled The Red Man of Oklahoma Sees the First Stagecoach. In the United States Post Office. The original post office is now the Oklahoma School System Administration Building. Murals were produced from 1934 to 1943 in the United States through the section of painting and sculpture, later called the section of fine arts, of the Treasury Department. Hugo is located at the center of Choctaw County. According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of, of which is land and, or 0.36%, is water. Hugo Lake on the Kayamichi River lies northeast of town, and Roebuck Lake, an oxbow former channel of the Red River, lies south of town. Hugo is the southern terminus of the Indian Nation Turnpike, a four-lane highway which runs northwest to Interstate 40 in Henrietta, providing a vital transportation link from southeastern Oklahoma to the state's largest cities, Oklahoma City and Tulsa. As of the census of 2000, there were 5,536 people. 2,309 households, and 1,415 families residing in the city. The population density was 999.0 people per square mile, 385.8 per square kilometer. There were 2,798 housing units at an average density of 504.9 per square mile, 195.0 per square kilometer. The racial makeup of the city was 49.28% white. 30.6% African American, 14.1% Native American, 0.3% Asian, 0.02% Pacific Islander, 0.4% from other races, and 5.3% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 1.61% of the population. There were 2,309 households out of which 29.4% had children under the age of 18 living with him. 37.4% were married couples living together, 20.7% had a female householder with no husband present, and 38.7% were non-families. Of all households 35.3% were made up of individuals and 19.7% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.30 and the average family size was 2.98. In the city, 
the population was spread out with 26.6% under the age of 18, 8.7% from 18 to 24, 23.6% from 25 to 44, 20.8% from 45 to 64, and 20.3% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 38 years. For every 100 females, there were 79.9 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 73.0 males. The median income for a household in the city was $19,321, and the median income for a family was $26,523. Males had a median income of $26,473 versus $17,348 for females. The per capita income for the city was $11,676. About 25.5% of families and 29.4% of the population were below the poverty line, including 43.5% of those under age 18 and 22.1% of those age 65 or over. Agriculture, especially cotton farming, timber and ranching have been mainstays of the city's economy since its beginning. Since the 1940s, circuses have used Hugo as their winter quarters. The Kayamichi Technology Center and the Agriplex originally the Choctaw County Agricultural Center, opened during the 1970s. Hugo implemented a council manager form of city government in 1995. Hugo serves as the southern terminating point for the Indian Nation Turnpike. U.S. Highway 70 runs west to east through the city and connects Hugo to Duranto the west and Itabel to the east. U.S. Highway 271 runs south out of the city and leads to Paris, Texas. Hugo is served by the city-operated Stan Stamper Municipal Airport, with one runway. The airport has 10 aircraft based on the field and supports medical air ambulance operations by Eagle Med as well as scheduled cargo operations for all of southeastern Oklahoma via a flight from Tulsa operated by Martin Air on behalf of UPS. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.